What's up, everybody? It's the Read Rest the Boy TV, and it's your boy, the Read Rest the Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, I'm here watching American Idol, and I have to go ahead and bring you all this video clip of this guy that touched me tonight, and he was Idol inspired contestant tonight. Oh. His name was Michael, and um, he explained his story. His backstory was um, that he had um, issue with his tonsil, tonsils, you know, which is located right in this area. And um, he, you know, had the procedures removed. But sometimes, you know, his tonsils get, you know, swollen, and sometimes it has to be taken out for some people who sing, or it just has to be taken out in general. So he said he's had to take his tonsils out, and the procedure would have took, you know, 45 minutes, took over an hour and a half. Um, and left him with a speech impediment. I'm sure many people out there can relate to this issue of a surgery or procedure gone bad. But he was still inspired to pursue his dream of singing. He shocked the judges and he came on and did his best. I was shocked myself because, you know, sometimes when you hear a backstory, you're like, oh Lord, this person can't sing or oh Lord, this person is going to be a mess. And no lie, he was really good, he sung beautifully, and his story was really touching. So I want y'all to now go ahead and watch the video, but also make sure y'all leave your comments in the comment section about what y'all thought about this story. If this story is inspiring to you, or inspiring to someone that you know that may have had a speech impediment um, because of a surgery or procedure gone bad, but still pursue their dreams in becoming a singer, you know, um, lawyer, doctor, whatever profession they may be, or a dream or aspiration that they may have attained, please go ahead and leave your story and comments, and please make sure you're two thumbs up this video and hit the subscribe button at the top so you can get more of these inspirational videos from American Idol and other shows that I bring to y'all here on the Real Rasta Boy TV. Again, now go ahead and watch Michael do his thing on American Idol um, audition and um, check him out. All right, I gotta go. Peace. Back in the holding room, the last contestant of the day may be the strongest spirit of all. My name is Mikey Johnson, and I'm the next American Idol. I've loved to sing ever since I came out of my mom. My mom would be at church, and she said that the music would start, and her stomach would start moving while I was inside. So I love music all my life. I recently got my tonsils removed, and the doctor that did my tonsils hit some nerves and uh, left me talking with a speech impediment. When they were taking out my tonsils, it's normally supposed to be like a 45 minute procedure. And they told me that it took about an hour and a half to actually pull out my tonsils because they were so big. So that was where hitting the nerves came into play. It's one in a, one in a hundred thousand happened to me. I go to a speech therapist and it's been helping. If I got a golden ticket, it would bring a smile to my face and it would just prove to me that Despite the obstacles, I can still do anything. I've actually had nerve damage myself, and I thought it was never going to go away. It was um, in my arm. And uh, I'm just wondering, did they give you hope about it going away? They said once it healed that this was pretty much what I was stuck with. I, I do go see a speech therapist, so it's been helping. So can you sing? Should you be here singing now? I feel like that I can be an inspiration for somebody else. There are people that have been inspirations for me, so why give up? Exactly. What are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing Chicken Fry by Zach Brown Bell. <laughs> hey, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Let's hear it. All right. <laughs> Well, I was raised up beneath the shade of a Georgia pine, and that's home, you know, sweet tea, pecan pine, homemade wine, where the peaches grow. In my house, it ain't much to talk about, but it's filled with love and grown in southern ground. Yeah. And a little bit of chicken fry, a cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans if it just right, and the radio. See the sun arise, see the love in my woman's eyes, feel the touch of a precious child, and know a mother's love. Yeah! Wow! 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 Wow
This is the biggest fake out I think I've ever had. That's amazing. Dude, we were leaning in because we couldn't even hear you speak, and then you open up your mouth and you sing like a bird. What is going on here? You just sing all the time. As soon as you start singing, you transform into like a beautiful voice. Absolutely, without a doubt, in my opinion, ready for the competition. Gosh, it was beautiful. It was your spirit. It was you there, and I was moved by your story. But even if you didn't have that story, I still would have been moved by your voice and the yeah. fact that you put it all into that song. And a little bit of chicken fried. Yeah, a little chicken fried. I mean, so I mean food, no, they so I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So should we vote? Absolutely. Okay. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Welcome to Hollywood. Yay. Last woman of the day in L.A., Long Beach area. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Congrats, my God. Show improvement. Yeah. Hollywood Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. That was crazy. What a thing. What? Yeah. That was like awesome. Been... Mike Young? Yeah. 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 There it is, man. Hey, good job. Congratulations. Life as I know it is going to be different, and it feels really, really good.